Hello, hello, and welcome back to another Mario Maker. The first one in a while. I don't remember when the last time I did this was. If it was solo or if it was with Jack. But, uh, I'm alone today. This is the first Mario Maker stream since the final major update, the world's update. And, uh... I waited a little while after it came out. I waited like, uh, I want to say maybe a month ago it came out. I don't remember exactly. I wanted people have to have time to uh, make super worlds. And in fact, I have made a complete super world. But uh, I'm not going to go through my whole world and play all of my new levels. I made many of them. I might wait until uh, Jack's around again. Next time we're together, maybe I'll have him play through my super world. You can see it up there. And because we're on our last week of school, and I've been a bus aide, I've been demoted for the time being, because we, we don't need that many bus drivers demoted. I get paid the same. I've just been, uh, I've just been bringing my Switch on long strings of the bus ride and making levels. No one has completed my most recent four I made my super world easy, so uh, I've taken to making harder individual levels again. Uh, we're not doing user codes today, Dether. Thank you for the interest, but uh, I've got a friend of mine has a super world ready to play. So that's what I'm going to do today. And if I finish that, I'll... Uh... You can now view your friends list. Like the Switch friends list? Imagine a Switch game that includes, like, friend list integration. It's crazy. If I finish uh, Bacon Bomb Aqua Asia's world, then uh, I'll go through a, a list of some other, some other friend levels that have been made. Because, I, again, I haven't streamed this in quite a while. Oh, he's a he's a great he's a wizard now. Got the full uh, full forty courses. Super Grand Perry World. Gra I I al I almost said it. I almost said Grand Wizard, but I didn't want to say that because that ha that has some very negative connections that I d didn't want to say Grand Wizard because he's not that. He's a grandpa who's also a wizard. How are the uh, audio levels? Okay, by the way. I don't want the game uh, too, too quiet. Grand Wiz? Grand Wiz! So this is, uh... This looks... You know, very traditional Mario levels. I understand that, uh, bacon... What, well, now you've created a dick made of made of bricks. So good job do with that. I understand this is a very uh, traditional Mario-style campaign, which is more or less bacon uses the same level design philosophy that I do. Of uh, trying to keep things fair and such. Well, if you tell me not to go down there, then I have to. It's my job to idiot-proof Bacon's levels. It's very important. No harm came from me going down there. H how does this pipe function? Am I going to made be made skinnier? Hello, Sandy. I'm playing Bacon's level. Sandy is also, uh, cobbled together a super world, but I understand it's, uh, Sandy's is comprised entirely of existing levels, right, Sandy? One optional semi-kaizo. Now, where could you have gotten an idea like that? 
have a Kaizo level, an optional Kaizo level in your world? It's crazy. It's unheard of. Who would do a thing like that? I may have done a thing like that. Most worlds use all five themes. Sometimes I forgot about the Super Mario Brothers theme. I try, I try, I try to make sure that I vary, vary mine, but not to. Uh, I didn't worry too much about uh, like all five in every world necessarily. If I finish, uh, if I finish Bacon's and still have time, maybe I'll check out Sandy's. I'm sure Sandy still has some levels, I'm sure. Well, I know he's got some levels that I haven't done yet. Oh, I can't, uh, I can't throw Chain Chomps. So, maybe I need to throw the steak? Uh Bacon? Hmm. Well, darn and drat. It appears this is the end of Grand Pere. the chomp to kill the Koopa. So I guess the... I was worried the chomp was gonna hurt me while I was carrying it. I guess he can't do that. It was, uh, kind of bizarre that he didn't kill the... kill the flower. Well, shit. I kind of wanted to just take the shell, because that seemed like it'd be easier. I could even take a Goomba. Three, uh, 50 coins on each level. Yeah, I did that too. I wish there... I've said this before. I wish there was a proper... A proper, like, star coin system of some kind, or some kind of collectibles. Just for bragging rights, like how many you've collected in levels. I also wish that there was like, uh, maybe, uh, maybe something re related to the score. Like having to have a certain score to, as a clear condition. Hmm. Can I... I cannot appear to drop immediately in front of me. Which you could do in Mario 2. However, you cannot do it here. Music selection tool would be nice. You showed me a video of, uh, a, a parody video of fake Mario Maker updates. I cannot unlike. The level's broken. That's fine, I'll give it a like. <clears throat> That's still kind of a shortcoming, not being able to remove your, or change your vote for a level. Not that I, not that I actually would for that level, but... Were I to need to... Uh, yeah, a lot of the, a lot of the fake parody updates. A lot of them I would have actually liked, like the Lakitu being able to throw more things. Maybe not necessarily Bowser's, but, uh, Lakitu's throwing the bouncy donuts would be cool. The Sniper Hammer Brothers. So is this all is this all canonically in France, Bacon? 
Explain to me the lore of Grand Pere. This is a very, uh, this is a very tight cave. Guessing I'm going to need this flower if it's giving it to me outright. Uh, you know you can... You know you can do conditional power-ups. Like, if you're small, you get a mushroom. If you're big, you get a... Fire flower. I want you. Turtle, come here. Turtle! Where'd you go? Damn turtle. Is that bubble bass? Why why you got a bubble bass emote, Darian? I find this level lacking in pickles. It's a morning stroll through a vineyard. I think Bacon mentioned not really liking the 3D world style, or that it was like the hardest to make levels for. And I agree, I'm not really a fan. It needs more consistency with the other styles. I don't think it needed to be its own thing completely. A Spongebob speedrunner, as in someone who speedruns Spongebob games exclusively. Oh good, there's ground below me. I was worried there wasn't. And then there was the summer in my youth, when I became a cat! Oh, it was glorious! I should get that. I should get the P-Switch. Come on, P-Switch. The SpongeBob speedrunning community is on fire. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm sure they're very excited for the, you know, Battle of the Bikini Bottom remake. It's been a big thing recently. I just, I didn't know there was a Spongebob speedrunning community. Or a significant one, anyway. Hello, Trog. I hold the world record for the Spongebob Boating Bash speedrun. You're, you're full of shit, Bacon. I, I know for a fact that Trog has that speedrun. As well as probably half of the other Spongebob games. And if he doesn't have them at the time of my recording, this will have them by the time this is on YouTube. Which, uh... Which of my latest levels have you played, Trog? I think I saw you tried the Snowball Fight one. As of yet, no one has actually cleared any of the four. I put out another one today. Oh, hello. Oh! Laser Koopas. There's another thing I wish of, uh... I like this update. It's got a lot of cool things in it. It's not perfect. I wish the world system, at least when you got a game over, sent you back to the start of the world so that, that you know, there was some consequence to getting a game over. As, as of now, it just, uh... 
it just sends you back to the start of the level. You just try try again. So if you had a checkpoint, you'd lose that, but come on, that's nothing. Get down here! You fuck! I'm okay, I'm fine. Probably should have killed that Koopa. That's a mean Koopa. I guess when they translated Mario World, the translators didn't understand that they were meant to be like fake Bowsers, the Mecha Koopas. That or they just didn't think Mecha Bowser sounded cool. Because that confused me as a kid, why they were called Mecha Koopas even though they didn't look like Koopas, they looked a little more like Bowser. Good start. I thought he was going to throw that straight, but no, he throws it. They roll in uh, Mario World and New Super Mario Brothers style. Oh, and this is uh, 3D World. Which I didn't actually remember that the spikes were in. It kind of sucks that, uh, like, 3D World is so very different, too. Because they put... They give it so many things. Like, this update gave all the other styles one new power-up. Uh, 3D World gets, uh, six, I think? It gets five of the wearable hats, which all have power-up functions. And what was the other thing it got? Did it get the... the acorn? Or is that New Super Mario Brothers? I probably needed my fire flower. Oh, I have my fire flower. I'm not a quitter. I'm getting out of this. You just watch! Technically, it's not a soft lock since I could have died at any time. I could have chosen to. I'm gonna assume death. Give me a pow. Come on. Pow, pow. No? Okay. I don't do. I was the first person to clear that. I don't do troll coins. I would hope not. That would be bad level design. There's another, uh... Another very phallic shape appearing here. First bricks, now, now an oasis. Who's got time to go through the levels? Speedrun or nothing! There was a secret down there with a bullet bill head? Oh, okay. 
I'm gonna get times Trog won't beat. You just watch. That didn't work. <laughs> Trog is not having fun with my snowball level. What's right? No, what's wrong though? It's all non-lethal. You can't lose your power up. I was going to, I should have included, like, throwing snowballs in, uh... Oh, that goes all the way up. I should have included throwing snowballs in, uh, one of the ice levels I did. That does... I incorporated, like, three mechanics in that. The melting coins, the spikes throwing snowballs, and snow digging. But I didn't realize that, uh... So, I forgot that Super Mario Bros. 2 let you pick up snowballs from uh, snowy ground. You got all plats on Crash, get all plats on uh, Mario Maker. Why well, didn't have to fight Trog for Crash Bandicoot? Oh, hello. Go away, fish. I'm a squirrel. I didn't even think about doing that. A uh, double... A squirrel double wall jump. I also wish... Th this is stretching a little bit. I wish uh, power-ups carried over between levels in your super world. Because that would open so many doors. You could have secrets if someone managed to get a power-up in the previous level and keep it. It'd be cool. It'd be, it'd be make it feel cohesive like an actual, you know, single game. But no, we can't do that. And I understand that there's, there's issues with it if there are different styles and power-ups, but... Uh, Like, if a level is the same style, or if it's just like a super mushroom, it could have easily been done. Like, if the power-up doesn't exist in the next level style, just, you lose it. You go back to little. I'm sad that's not the case. I'm sad the... The lives still don't really mean anything. And, yeah, I, I agree. Uh, secret level exits... That would be a little harder to implement, but it would be very cool. A, uh... An inventory of items like Mario 3. There's a lot of potential for things they could do to make this just like the perfect 2D Mario game. If they really went all out. It's a cool floating pipe up there. I saw your secret bacon. That that pipe's not connected to anything. Stupid mole. If they really wanted the game to sell just gangbusters, Mario Maker 3, number one bestseller on the Switch U. They'd go full on NES remix with it. They had the they had the mushroom costumes in the last game. I'm sad amiibos are gone a little bit. But uh just full on crossover, add other characters conforming a little a bit to you know the Mario style as necessary like they did with the Mario the mystery mushrooms in Mario Maker 1 
but give them some of their moves. Like, uh, you would be able to make totally different styles of level. Not even to the same degree as Link, the Link power-up in this game, necessarily. Because that's, Link can do a lot. Link is a very elaborate, he was a cool addition. He's very elaborate. Honestly, would have been fine, would have had some unique mechanics if he just had, like, some sword stabs. Have a little Mega Man with his little buster shot. Doesn't need a slide, doesn't need a charge shot, just a straight projectile. And then he's his own character. Not that I'm against those things, but... That's another weak point of, uh, of this game, is the fact that other playstyles are limited to power-ups. Like the Mario 2 Mushroom, the Link, because you can't then make levels designed around those without having to have a constant supply of the power-ups. Like, if you lose it, then you lose things that are necessary to progress and play the level. Cool, uh, makeshift pyramid. Is this Grand Parade exploring ancient ruins? Like, there's not a way to just play as Link for the entirety of a level. You know, have two or three hit points. Well, however they make it function. So that I'm always Mario 2 with the, you know, the land on enemies and, uh... The land on and throw enemies abilities. Like, if I get- got hit and lost this, and needed to, like, ride an enemy across something, I'm, I can't do that anymore. Uh... Oh, that's right, I, I forgot about the super jump. I included that in one of my recent levels. Now I feel dumb. I hate the wind! Sorry. Old wounds. Away, Koopa. Hello, Goomba. Hmm. What's a good place to? It seems this seems like it'll work. In you go. Oh, he's back! He climbed out! I'm, I'm taking you with me. Come here. You might come in handy. Is that a shroom dispenser? Oh, I lost my shell. I can't take him with me. Oh, that's right. This is an airship level. I forgot. Oh, that's right. I, I expected to bounce on them. Uh oh, there's there's the slope there. Remember when that was the big selling point of this game was slopes.
Like, this game is definitely an improvement over one in a lot of ways. Is it enough of an improvement? I not ma debatable. I don't necessarily think so, especially since the online is basically non-functional. It is unplayable. Miss the amiibo costumes. The Wii U touchscreen worked really well with Mario Maker. And then I took a Goomba on a bullet across a gap! Fucking wizard! Oh, this is a cursed key. And am I fucked? There's there's the shroom I need. Come here, Goomba. I need I need you. Die! Fucking wizard! There we go. One more, Fanto. Ah! Ow. The big uh, basically the biggest selling point of this game was the multiplayer. And since the multiplayer doesn't work, it's not a good it's not a great one. I mean it works all right on local. Not so much the online. Online multiplayer is a no. Let me in! Sanctuary! This is a... This is a devious contraption you've created. Delightfully devilish, Aqua! Oops. Better not be killed by a stray Goomba. Oh, he's here again! He hasn't had enough? So if I still had my mushroom, I would have to lose it before I could, uh... Before I could damage him. Presumably. Maybe I can pick up and throw him. He followed you off of the fleet at Tangler's. Tangler's sounds like, uh... Sounds like some kind of restaurant, like Hooters. Now oh, I can jump on him as uh, Mario 2. Luigi 2. He got smaller after the first defeat. Like, three hits was enough to make him into, into Mini-Roy. Uh... Okay, it has to go again to blow, blow up the bomb. I get it. Oh, 
Come on. Come on down! Go on. Go back inside. Uh, the wind! I'm fine. I got it. We're good. Getting out of Hooters. I did it. 99 coins. Hello, Trog. I see you. Going from desert to snow. A full Mario 2 style would have been great. I was very surprised they went through this entire game's life cycle without adding any more special styles, like uh, 3D World. Because it's odd having that whole section to itself. Oh, Yoshi, no. She's probably going faster. I'm not really even trying to compete with Trog. Oh, I get it. Well, don't run out of ammo. Oh, it's a pipe. Okay. very strange instrument they gave uh, Yoshi in the new Mario Brothers style. Am I supposed to come up here? Thought maybe I'd found a secret, but now I think this is the way to go. Oh, that doesn't work. Hmm. Oh, I should have jumped off Yoshi. It's not like I can carry him to the next level. World record! Well, there are two mushroom houses in this world. How very generous. I'm at a disadvantage here because I have an audio delay on my end, so I can't hear what's about to fire. Which is the only reliable way to really do it. RIP. I tried. I had, a. Uh, Sandy streamed my world, and, uh, 
Wickersham streamed my world. And I use those and I, I tweet some things because there were some uh, bugs that needed addressed in both. Oh, I can't. Yoshi can't. No, he can spit out snowballs, but only from the head. Yoshi needs pr mostly pre made snowballs. Oh, Trog streamed it. Did I watch Trog stream it? Oh, okay, so, uh. I'm sorry, Trog and, uh, Trog and Nick did it. And both were very helpful in finding bugs to fix. I, I could not see the on-off switch, I just assumed one was down there. That's fine. It doesn't need to get there fast, it just needs to get there. I am happy with where mine is now. Save maybe the Kaizo level, maybe I didn't need to include that, even as an optional thing. But it's optional, so I'm not broken up about it. Just don't do it, guys. Just have 39 out of 40 levels done. It's easy. Then again, if I if I put any of my uh, newer levels up there, it would be better, but not by that much, because they uh, they're all pretty difficult. I'm not I'm not surprised that no one has cleared whoops too. That is a that's a tricky one. Hmm. One more somewhere. I went up there already, I think. No? Technically, I could get through here. I'm smart enough to know it doesn't want me to, but I could. This one is wonky. Yeah, I never really do the... I never really do the four coins across four different challenges thing. Nothing against it. Just a little bit tedious, if not done very well. That's actually my most played liked level. Oh, that's, that's fine. I see a popular kind of level people like to make is, uh, Mario-vanias. Often using power-ups. Often employing the red coins as well. Oh, that wasn't a slide yet. I think my highest rated level is Abide the Slide. Whoop! Get out of here. No, I can't destroy icicles. Drat. Uh, hmm. Hold 
Hold on, I got, I got you. I can get you up here. Damn it. There we go. I remember this. I played. I played this level. I remember the Magic Koopa boss. Give me a mushroom, Mr. Wizard. Wait, wait, hold on. There was just a door there. Did I need to fight him? I could have just walked on through. Oh, I need to defeat three. That's right. There's a condition. Nope. I'll come back. final week I mentioned of uh, the preschool year it's not really a school year the school year is over but uh, we're still still driving preschool and that ends after this week so uh, I don't yet know what I'll be doing for the summer Might just focus on uh, voice work as much as I'm able to. This one's just free lives. There's that, there's the matching game, and there's the baseball game. The baseball one, by far being the hardest, I think. Well, the, ma the matching game's kind of a gamble. I need that. Damn it. What happy occupation music? I've only seen the matching one. In terms of like, uh... Yes, you can choose which one it is. Speedrun mode now. Damn it! I got I gotta ride the thing. I mean, if I tried long enough, I could just. Uh, I'm sure I could route my way through those falling Koopas. That's gonna take forever. Also change uh, level icons by selecting them and uh, some tile types you can make them water or uh, the flat grass you can make into decorative elements there's not a lot of variety in the world maker but there's there's some it's, it's a little bit hello Charles
given up on speedrunning this particular level. However, no one got time to ride platforms. I guess I'm not supposed to be up here. Okay. Damn it. That was way too early. Have you tried any of Rubber Ross's levels? No, I've seen them. Most of the ones I've seen are kind of just scrambled everywhere troll levels. gets to live and I will fly to where I don't know where am I landing oh bacon you dick less troll levels more like fuck you hard levels now the ones I saw were definitely troll levels without any particular uh, tact in where things were placed Although I have made some, uh, I have made some fuck you hard levels. Particularly of late. Hey, are you having fun with those snowballs, Trog? Oh, that was, that was a hit! There's not a lot of interesting ways to utilize the parachutes, honestly. They're kind of a kind of a one-dimensional addition. I mean, they serve a purpose, but I never thought they were the most interesting things, even in uh, even in Mario World. Of course, Trog's outpacing me. What do you what did you think was gonna happen? Uh, right now, I am playing Bacon Bombs Super World. That he made. And I think he's the only one in the crew to uh, make one so far. And Sandy's made one of existing levels. He's working on a uh, a more complete one. You guys are not fond of snowballs, you may not like this hell. As in the world that I'm just... I just... finished? Grand Pere World, World 3? I'm curious when the... the conditional power-ups are gonna appear, when Bacon figured that out. I'm, I'm gonna study the learning process over the course of these levels' creation. This is very precise. What's up here? Uh, just a coin. uh you know what? Ah, uh, it's not gonna work. Damn it. Walk up and shoot. I tried that. I didn't try it in exactly the right spot. Mm -hmm. 
Lots of, lots of random saws around here. I guess this is still part of the castle. I shouldn't have done that, should I? See, uh, Bacon's trying to get uh, inventive with the boss fights. Is this doing anything? Oh, can Yoshi run in there? I'm not sure, actually. Actually, I don't need to interfere. These are going the right way already. Oh, I need to send them this way. I get it. So what's the fire for? The fire doesn't melt them. Which is kind of odd, saying it out loud. You'd think the fire would, in fact, melt them. Are all of the boss fights going to involve these uh, on-off switches? I'm, I'm noticing a trend. Boss battles are less traditional. Yeah, I tried to mix mine up as well. That particular Luigi clip sounded halfway between Luigi and Wario. Yeah! I'm a winner! Final boss is probably the most traditional. Can't really do a maze without secret exits, unfortunately. It would be very cool to be able to make your own Forest of Illusion. Grab that. Jump to my possible death. No, I'm good. Hello, Mr. Hammerman. You're not a sniper brother, are you? Oh no! You're supposed to die to fireballs! That doesn't happen in this game! That's only Mario World! Oh. Oh! I didn't realize what I was doing quick enough. This is gonna this is gonna disappear, isn't it? It's gonna fall off. Well Spyro is a Namek, thus a Yoshi. E explain to me the Spyro is a Namek part. I'm not following that. has no green skin. He does not regenerate. He has no beam cannons to my knowledge, particularly not any that are special. Nor can he fuse with other dragon Namekians. I question his relation to Purunga because Purunga, you see, is very large for a dragon. Larger than Earth's dragon, as Spyro is a very small dragon. So I don't believe these two dragons are in fact related. Although that does sound like a YouTube parody waiting to happen. Is using the Dragon Balls and summoning Spyro. Oh boy, do I love waiting. Dragons and Spyro were dudes. Maybe it's just like 
an extremely patriarchal society. There are female dragon babies in Spyro 3. Maybe it's just like some some horrible world where all the all the women aren't allowed to leave their dragon houses. It's it's not a good thing to imagine, but that seems like the only possible explanation. M Ember is also a girl, yes. Oh, this looks like a fun room. Mm, yeah, love whirlpools, love tornadoes. O okay, if they're Namix, how do you explain girl dragon babies? Are, th are those actually boy dragon babies with bows and things? Actually, I do. Who are you talking about, Ember? Are you talking about the pony character? I was thinking of. Uh, I was thinking of. Is Cinder the name? The other dragon in, like, realistic Spyro trilogy? Eternal Night or whatever it's called? That dragon was Cinder, right? I know nothing of Spyro after Spyro 4, and I'm honestly comfor comfortable with this. You should have taken the top path. Huh? In, in this level? Was there another path? Top path is a lot quicker, but a little more difficult. I, I never liked the match game. Screw the match game. Top route has alternate routes, bottom are water levels. They're not really alternate routes, though. I mean, I guess... You get access to all of them at once. I, d I did a thing in uh, My Super World where each world has a hard route of one level and an easier route of two levels. And usually the hard level is one of my older pre-existing levels. Like, uh, Scale That Cliff is one. I think the Thwomp Moving Company. Any any of the... Any of my existing levels that uh, were not... Like, trolly or unfair in design. I considered the Sacred Shell. But, uh, I decided against that. I haven't done any, uh... I'm done a Mario Maker highlights, or Mario Maker 2 highlights, other than the couch co-op session we had. I don't remember how many good moments we had in this. Lots of, lots of me and Jack yelling at each other. I'm sure. Can I hit those? Yeah, I can hit those. Go away, blooper. I need a peak switch. I don't like this. Can I get another frog? I think I'm out of frogs. I think I got my only frog. I'm just making things worse for myself. It's hard, kind of hard to make a water level threatening and challenging because so much of it is big open space. That felt like a, like a Mario 3 water level though, so good job. Technically my water level is optional if you don't mind climbing a cliff.
Let's get three lives. Five lives, great. And a frog. The frog's in this one because it's underwater. Mediterranean medley. Such a graceful swimming animation in Mario 1. That plank straight torso. Those flailing arms. So graceful. So I need a shell to do anything with that. Luigi and his. Absence of curves. Oh, this is, a, this is a water rising level. I don't need no stupid bullet. Oh, I need you, though. Come back here. Oh! I'm gonna die now. That pow is an oversight, actually. Forgot you can't hit it underwater. What, how could I hit it above water in Mario 1? D does fireballs affect it? Because you can't pick up items. These levels are getting longer. I no longer really want to speedrun them. Well. Oh, yeah, you can't pick it up at all in Mario 1. The only way you can use POWs is to hit them from underneath. I see Trog didn't take the water route. I like how you supposedly dedicated the bottom route to water levels. And then there's a water level on the top route. No. Go away, fish. Go away, worms! I don't really like- I'm, I'm gonna be maybe unpopular here. I don't really like Yoshi. I don't really like uh, playing Mario while riding a Yoshi. I don't- I don't include him in very many of my levels. Unsubbed. This doesn't make that much of a difference in Mario World style. Just an extra thing to carry around with you. It's like trying to juggle items in Spelunky is having a Yoshi. You know what? Come down here. Yoshi! Yoshi, please! Ah, oh, there he goes. And I took a hit, too. It's like an escort mission. Hmm. Like your, uh, you like your cannonballs, Mr. Bacon?
This is a very, uh... This is a very RPG track with those trumpets in it. Yeah! Right, I'm good. I'm fine. I don't get too technical in the puzzles to know spike jump puzzles. Spike jump puzzles? Like, spin jumping? I, I don't know what spike jump puzzles are. I tried to uh, have a unique mechanic or gimmick for each one of my levels. There are three Wendy's. Mario! I don't know why I'm being attacked! I just came here for a cheeseburger and a Frosty! They're throwing onion rings at me, Mario! I'm never coming back to Wendy's. I just made a level that was all... All spin jumpies. Mario spin jumped on Goku's head when he bounced off or kill Goku. Well, considering that he... Dies when he spin jumps on Bowser's head... Gonna say Goku would probably be fine. When you play in Sneak King, that's right, we gotta do all the all the fast food games. We gotta do uh, the three Burger King video games. I gotta get an Xbox 360 first. So, step one. I see Bacon discovered the pipes in the cave. We're gonna do a Let's Watch of the Ronald McDonald promotional cartoon, animated by Klatsky Xuppo. That existed. I had- I had Legos in that cartoon style. Cause they were- they were Happy Meal toys back in the... 2000s? Question mark? I wonder if I could get up there. <gasps> Damn it. Lost my fire. Oh, uh, I guess I wanted to do that. Probably. Maybe. Oh, the P door, that's right. This is the level. That sounds promising. Is it a level that is, like, abusable? What, what's the fear with this level? It's an old one? Did, did I complain about this level the first time I played it? Oh, is this the one with the... This isn't the one with the wind. You know what they say, the more the merrier! And, uh, Mike Pollock actually showed up in the chat of one of Vinny's streams. When he was doing a shitty shovelware game that featured Mike Pollock as a role that was not Eggman, but looked kind of like Eggman. Vinny, uh, later met him at a convention. Told him he was the best part of that shitty game. And Mike Pollock was like, I, I know, I know. This is the level. I assume, because it's a desert with wind, this is the level that I did the thing that I got stuck on. Interesting. I, I was suddenly, like, low gravity when I was on the hook. You know, Mr. Vinny Vine Sauce. Ah! I hate wind. At 
least there's a checkpoint. And I got 32 lives. Tribute. Good stuff. Oh, it's the wind that was blowing me on the hook. That's what was uh, confusing me. Now that I left the screen, I'm going to guess the fire flower's gone. No, it's still there. Okay, I'm good. Going to wait for the wind to stop. Koopa shell I need. Is it up there? Maybe I should duck in there. That would be a good idea. Oh, it must have been a while ago. This was in the... I think the 2018 like Twitch Clips reel. Was this moment. We return to the site of a great feud, the Great War of Jack and Zelrog, 2018. Ah! I just habitually press the run button immediately after releasing the run button, because you kind of just want to be holding it at all times in Mario, is the idea. See, I'm not, I'm not gonna go down to see where it's going. That's what this is for. I hear, I hear bullets or thwomps, one or the other. It was bullets. Look, he looks so menacing, waving his arms like that. Like an angry three-year-old. Damn it. Wrong door. It's the wind's fault, not mine. I wish you could have doors that went to the, uh, the sub area. And pipes that went to the same area. It'd be a nice convenience thing. I don't know how they'd uh, set that exactly, but maybe different colors. It'd be useful. Boss doors. I hate that you can't... It's the, f the reason it's annoying with pipes and sub areas is because you can't lock pipes. So you have to have a locked door that goes to a pipe room. The fort is the semi-kaizo level. Okay, good to know. Which they had lockable pipes in Yoshi's Island. I'm not in any Mario game that I recall, but... There's 
Is there something up there? Probably not. I'm just gonna get squished. Come here, Mr. Flower. I'll, I'll give it a shot. I'll see how bad it is. I mean, I cleared my Kaizo level. Have you been to the, the Trial of Trog yet, Bacon? Oh, I see what I need to do with you. Get down there. Get on down. Well, come on, buddy. I'm right here. Why don't you open your mouth? Take a big old fire. That's a good boy. That's a nice fellow. Oh, hello. I wasn't looking at the screen for a second. Hope I didn't need any of those. I think I saw a secret down there. Oh, yeah, Dark Underwater. Favorite type of level. Everyone loves him. The only way this could be better if it was an escort mission. Yes, sir. Timed underwater escort mission. Oh, wait, bonefish. No, I don't like you. You go away. Oh. Ah. Uh, hmm. Should have looked ahead a little bit. Can I bring him back? Oh, hello, Mr. Coin. If I can go in this pipe, I can definitely bring him back. Otherwise, I just have to hope. Yeah, it respawned him. Okay, I'm good. Come on. Fire, fire your special beam cannon. kind of random coin patterns. <sighs> yeah, I, uh, I unwittingly, unfortunately, erased your progress in my super world. Once or twice, because I re-uploaded it twice after uh, Trog's and Nick's streams. I had to fix some things in some levels. There were uh, exploits I hadn't thought of. Ah, the deck boathouse. They say this here by is haunted. It's a it's a chateau. This is the Bayou Chateau. Haunted by a French fisherman ghosts. I didn't even know that was an enemy in this game. How do you do that? Maybe I've just never tried using that enemy. The uh, boxing ghosts could be cool enemies to have in this game. It's a boo alternative. Okay. So I take it this level was your uh, using the new hats. I think I used them on my uh, my final level in the campaign because I didn't really want to make you know five unique levels for them. I had one level for the Goomba hat. The Goomba hat was part of a gimmick for a level. Hmm. Oh, long jump. I get it. Hello, I am a Goomba friend. I am not a threat to you. Fuck off. Ghosts. 
I'm a threat to the Hammer Brothers, not the ghosts! And to myself. Is there any, uh, like, special properties of those ghosts? You can't jump on them or anything, can you? What? <gasps> I'm fine. I'm a good. I got this. Oh, if you shoot coins, they fall down. I didn't know that. You know, why get the Goomba, though? Oh, because you can't shoot booze, that's why. That's a, that's a tight jump. I never figured out how to do the boo circles. Uh, hold down on a boo, and you can select it to be a, a boo circle. Maybe. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't in uh, 3D World style. I have an idea. I have a way I could make this easier for myself. There we go. I don't, I don't, I don't want to bother with long jumps. Fuck long jumps. Long jumps are stupid. Just stupid baby stuff, those long jumps. Who needs them? Almost sounds like Kingdom Hearts music with the string section. I should have brought the spinny thing with me. Oh, I would have lost it anyway. It's time for your dick flattening. You know what? Don't do spin jumps. I do use them in 3D World. Spin, huh? 3D World doesn't have spin jumps. You mean the twirls? You mean those? You mean the backflips? Well, you definitely use the long jumps. Oh, that's a... Wait a minute. Can I... I can. Oh, my, that, I delayed audio, so my timing's off. The twirl high jump. Honestly, I forget it exists a lot of the time, which can lead to some sequence breaking, like that just was. It has the most movement options, but I'm not crazy about how the movement options work. That's a wall of booze. Oh, 
that was intentional as a self shortcut. No, oh, okay. It's fun. Go on. Oh, stupid one up. Oh, that's fine. I'm done. I got it. Ghost house beat. At least I'm seeing people behind- besides Trog, with the records. Alright, let's try this, uh... Try this semi-Kaizo. Grand Doom. GRAND DOOM?! Hello, Mr. Rolly thing. Rid of you. Oh, that's cool trick. All right, Mr. Bouncy Block. I don't like you. You're not my favorite kind of block, but uh, I will ride you. It's an interesting noise in this style. Did I- have I played this level? I don't think so. Something about this feels familiar. It must have been someone else's level. I'm trying to do the- the slide upwards thing I did again. It's tight. It's a very specific window. Bombs, you're next. Oh, this is a fun sequence of a uh, fast snake block. Yes, sir. Oh, there's a checkpoint. That's nice. Very gracious. Go on. Give me some more bullets. I want. I want lots of bullets, just in case. gonna need you? Are you gonna be helpful, Mr. Bullet? Oh, that's, that's, I don't like that. I didn't need that to happen to me. Well, there it goes. I was hoping I could keep that bullet with me. It was an escort mission. It's my favorite type of level. I don't know if you've heard. I'm going to take my bullet friend with me again, because I don't know, maybe he'll come in handy. Hello, Mr. Bullet Friend. I guess I should be hur hurrying for whatever this P-switch does. Oh, it was that. Bullet, break the wall for me! Okay, so speed run. Got it. Is that a troll coin? I bet I could get that if I really wanted to. It'd be, it'd be tight, but it's possible. 
All right, this time for reals. Aww. Yeah, this isn't too bad. So far. I'm j probably jinxing myself saying that. But I know Bacon had to complete it from the beginning without any checkpoints. Which is often a hindrance in uploading very difficult levels. Made it. Another checkpoint? No, oh, just a couple bosses. Little fellas there. Are they do I not have to fight them? Are they just uh just hanging out? I didn't get a checkpoint, did I? No, I didn't. Alright, that's fine. Just that section's not too bad. Oh, that's right, there's that thing. Forgot about the skull platform. You gave yourself a shortcut door? Aw, oh, you cheater. I could probably try to get one of those guys for their cars. That that'd be a whole thing though, so let's not let's not do that. Unless we have to. Okay, we're good. What's this part? I died at the... The stompers is what got me. These fellas. That was a... Yeah. I'm gonna have to be a little more patient there. I put shortcut doors in my level, but they're intended for the player to find. I, uh... I put, I put a dev door in a level once that was intended for people to find. Remember that? I think Sandy found it. I think Sandy went to the dev door area. Do your things. Stomp away, oh spiky dildos. Very generous putting uh, bouncers instead of saws there. Oh, that was a mistake. I didn't want to do that. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, that's better. Got plenty of room to jump. Ah, oh. Another shortcut. Another, uh... Checkpoint would be nice. I guess this level's not meant to be nice, though. How'd, Sandy, how difficult does this look on a scale of 1 to Trial of Trog? Six out of eight. Is there a thing that's dropping these up here? No, it's just a little... Oh, okay. Odd little area. Oh, that's some momentum. But I, I see the checkpoint. I'm almost there. Thank you. 
I kind of wonder how hard a level Trog himself could make. If he, if he set his mind to it. He's not much of a level maker. He's a speedrunner. Let's, let's do this. As long as I continue with the fireballs as they spawn, I just got a free, easy path. I'm gonna let that guy, though, go. Destroy those things. There we go. Alright, I got a free fire flower and everything. Oh, hello, Mr. Boom Boom. I kind of, I kind of want to beat him. I guess I can't really. Oh, I can't throw up because this is a new style. I wonder if you spam fireballs fast enough you can get boom boom. Let's try it. No, I don't think so. I think I can get him. Oh, almost. Just to, just to see if I can. I'm guessing Bowser Jr. has the key. Or if there, if there even is a key, he might just need his clown car. Come here. Gotcha. And, the, oh, there was a key. Okay. So I did not, do I, I don't actually have to beat Bowser Jr. Unless there's a second key door. There's a second key door. Do you have a key? I see you have your Kamek friend with you. Thank you. What's next? I've used up all my checkpoints. Okay, it's one of these fellas. That's that's a cool enemy. A cannon with a flower on it. Thank you. It's doable. What was that, like 20 attempts? And trog time. Nope. Uh, 8 minutes, 17 seconds. World record. What are you, baseball? It's baseball. Sonic and Knuckleball. Oh, I looked away. I looked at chat for a second. Oh, this is the level that I uh, I played through before. I'm curious uh, what you changed, if anything. Because I remember the level itself was not very difficult, and then the boss was a pretty big spike in difficulty. The version that I played of it. Time. Only found out at the very end you can change the length of fire bars. Yeah. Length and rotation, which is how people make those big uh, waves. Get those 
Those bullets could help me sequence break if I really wanted to. But that's okay. I'll just I'll just jump from here. Get me a fire flower and go fight Morton? Yeah, it's Morton. This doesn't look any different, really, from the version I played. It's rough because the fire sets off the bombs up there. And also he's firing at you, and also bombs are firing at you. There's a lot to keep track of. Get him, Mr. Bomb. One more. Don't die me! Okay. Fortunately, him dying also kills his fireballs. Is there a thematic reason for every, uh, final bridge having a giant enemy on it, or is that just for fun? I see a lava pipe that goes into the clouds. And lots of castles here. It's all castles! In fact, you can go straight to the final castle. It's just, just for bonuses are the extra castles. Grand Mares. Is this, is this the world of the Grandma? In Breath of the Wild, it because uh, it's easy easy to go straight to Ganon in Breath of the Wild. You just have to be skilled enough, and you can just take him on immediately. This is the final. Ch is is this the final world? Fucking bloopers. Fire bars! Damn it. Oh, it's the final in quotations challenge. Hammer Brothers are kind of a joke in this game compared to uh, original Hammer Bros. Take that out. I'm guessing each of the castles is in a different uh, game style. Given the motif so far. Well, that pipe is kind of arbitrary. It just goes from one castle to another castle. Hello, Bowser friend. We're gonna be friends. I 
I, I want you. Thank you. Can't see. Am I dying? lost my propeller hat. I like that propeller hat. Oh, hello! Hello again to more spikes. I see a secret down there, but I don't really care. I don't want to die and have to do more level again. I could just let Bowser Jr. kill him, I suppose. Eventually. Go down, big guy. Never leave orphans. Hello, little beetle fella. Love monsters who can breathe fire but are also harmed by it. Imagine the giant bomb dragon's weakness is bombs. I wonder if there's anyone who made an eight, like a full 40 level eight world super world and did not use the Koopalings for all their bosses. Because they're new to this update. They're novel. For now. And they're cool. I think it would have been cooler if we got, like, uh, Wart and or Wario as boss options. But, yeah, the Koopalings are alright, I guess. The new Super Mario Brothers route of big enemies. It's kind of hard to do that, since being big doesn't give enemies more hit points in most cases in this game. It's a fine line, because you get too crazy with what you can do in this game. Like, you could have fully, like, programmable enemy AI... But then you cross over into, like, Little Big Planet 2 territory, where the more you do that, the less intuitive it gets to use. And that's kind of the selling point of Mario Maker, is how intuitive it is. Like an official Kamek boss with actual boss hit points. Kamek would be a good one. I think Wario would be cool, because you could, uh, like, drop power-ups onto him. Like in Mario Land 2. Like, you know, he'd get the flying bunny form, he'd get a fire flower form. A Mario Land 2, maybe Mario Land 1 as well, mashup theme would have been great. There's a lot of, there's a lot of unre still unrealized potential for Mario Maker, I think. For example, working online. That would be nice. You don't want to give me the power to spam warriors. Well, it would you can't spam current bosses in the game. I'm sure in the Mario 2 style, like Wart would just replace the placeable Bowser.
Which Mario 2 had a variety of bosses. There were like five unique bosses with unique behaviors in that game. As opposed to the Koopalings. They have degrees of variance, but they're kind of the same base formula. Which is already, already similar to uh, Bowser Jr. Like, some more really unique boss fights to then make even more unique with the additional elements of Mario Maker. Would have been cool. That would have opened some opportunities. That's, uh, that's tight. How am, I, how am I gonna do that? Just very, very precisely, I suppose. I think this is as hard as the Kaizo level so far. Or semi Kaizo. Can't, I can't really call it a Kaizo level because it wasn't really. These fireballs are messing me up, though. There we go. Squeeze out of there. Go in the pipe. And airship. With a leaf. Not, not crazy about the leaf. I only did one leaf level, and I made it pretty short. I thread the needle through all that, and then I get hit Not even the wrench he throws, but by the rocky wrench's body. He punched me. Nope, no hammers for you. You got a hammer off. You got two hammers off. And there's spikes. And check. Did you learn, uh, at some point that you can attach power-ups to checkpoints, Bacon? Oh, there goes my leaf. I liked that leaf. I didn't like it that much, but it was nice to have here, I guess. It was something. It was better than not having a leaf. Do that from the beginning, just didn't really implement it. Okay. I usually just use, uh... I usually just do mushrooms with it. Just give the player an extra hit. Oh, come on, Olmec. Down here, stupid. I need you to land in this specific spot. So that I can use the Necronomicon and go to hell. Spelunky Death Roulette may be coming soon. I thought about uh, playing some more Spelunky with uh, that feature, which... Death Roulette is... Well, first off, if you don't know what Spelunky is, it's a platforming roguelike. And, uh... Death Roulette is a website that lets viewers bet on how the streamer is going to die. Or bet that they're going to make it to the end of the random generation. But probably how they're going to die. So I thought about doing, making an attempt at that. It kind of requires, it kind of needs a somewhat substantial amount of people to work though, I think. So I, did, I don't know if we'll be able to make it work or not. We can try. Alright, Mario World. I'm gonna guess Bowser's gonna be in a Koopa car. 
Except they didn't have Magikoopas when they made the Bowser Koopa Car fight in this game. So he throws bombs instead. Don't throw bones at me. Ah, oh, it's a chain chomp. It's a little tight. Where am I going? Okay. Uh, I didn't make it in time. These are some tricky ta these are some tricky castles. Grand Marais doesn't fuck around. Yeah, you really gotta one-cycle that. You don't have any chance for mistakes. Come on, get up there. Get up the vine, Luigi. Come on, you can do it. So which world am I on? Is this world six? Oh no, the lava's still moving. And it's a winged boo. Don't like that, no sir. Get on out of here. are overrated. Money doesn't buy happiness! I'm gonna take you with me. Oh, they wake up. I forgot. That was dumb of me. I was thinking I'd just carry him in front of me and have a laser cannon. Boss fight again. Oh, this was a mistake. This was a bad idea. I shouldn't have spin jumped. I thought, oh, he's below me. I'll just go down and show him what for. I'm over two hours already. Well, I guess today is just a uh, Grand Pere world. Ah, winged uh, magic koopas disproportionately transform things into giant winged boos. Damn it! The lava! Lady! You think the last two worlds would take another hour? Ah! Ah, 
I might do that. Damn it. I mean, eventually he'll be running, he'll run out of standing room. Oh no! That was bad timing. It's hard to see below me. That was I, that was greed. This magic Koopa is harder than Bowser's going to be. If I had a ground that I could spin down onto, I could deal with him faster. It's the fact that I can't spin jump because I have nowhere to land. I guess I could hit him from below. Maybe I should just blow him. Come on, get under me. There we go. Damn it. All right. Grab me a mushroom. I lost a lot of lives on this. This world has cost me many lives. I had like uh, 20 going into this. Are you coming back? Yeah, he's coming back. There we go, another checkpoint. And a feather. Hello, Bowser. Can't jump on you. Give me some bombs. Nice destructible floor. No? Oh, he's more than three hits. Maybe I can cape him. Maybe that's my plan. Nope. I mean, maybe. Maybe I just missed. That was a good. Th that was a good way for that to transpire. This isn't even the castle. Good life! Life well spent! Well, I got a hit on him. I think the bombs exploding deals more damage. It's just good luck timing that. I don't remember the fight in Mario World having a destructible floor. Maybe I'm misremembering. Go on, get on up there. And once there are holes in the floor, it's just exponentially harder. Because the bombs fall through before you can get to them. Cape the bombs in Camp Bowser. Eh, it's an option.
and lost it. If I can at least ensure that one side doesn't get blown up, that'll be easier. Why, why'd he go there? Maybe I can cape bomb him. I can fly up there and do a power bomb. That's kind of an underutilized move. The Koopa car looks oddly smaller than it did in the original game. Like, I don't think that's the original sprite. I think it's a little less detailed, a little smaller. There we go. That's just lava down there. Send the car down. Who needs it? Bowser doesn't need it. I'm gonna take my own ride. Twenty-four, first clear. No one else cared enough to go all the way through that. Well, for the first time, I actually need lives, so, uh... Go ahead and do this. And probably not get anything from it, because this is a difficult game. There's one down. Okay, three lives. I wish you could revisit previous worlds for, uh, skipped levels or mushroom houses. Yeah, you couldn't do that in Mario 3. I guess this is based more on Mario World. Just going in raw, five lives. In 3D world style. Which means I'm guessing this is gonna be Meowser. Ah, uh oh! The level itself is fine, but the final battle will game over you, I think. Oh, okay. That seems to be a trend of bosses that are much harder than their levels are. Don't know where I'm jumping. Well, not there. No! Oh, I have to stand and wait on the donut platforms. See, I, I, I didn't know that. Alright, come here, Mr. Vine. I can't see you, but now that I've died, I know you're coming. Whatever. No? Damn it. I should have done the twirl. Alright. 
Come here, blue man. Rip. Oh darn, now I'll have to start the whole world over. Which, even if I did, I could just come straight back here, but... Nope, just need no consequence. I start right, right back where I was. At least 3D World Mario can uh, do a little walk. Rip. Do a little crouch walk. Oh, hello, Mr. Dragon. You're in an inconvenient place. Now I can't fuck around. Grandmare is out to get me. I'm just on my couch, jeez. I'm sorry? Oh, I get it. It's like the 3D World Final Battle, where you're, like, climbing and running. Nick thought my meow my meowser fight was silly cuz it doesn't do that. Oh, hello. Duck, Luigi. Hmm. Well, that's a little demanding. I'm gonna have to either hang on to my cat or else be very precise on those bullets. Go away, Meowser. Fuck off. It's such a slow climb. No! So I need both the bullets and cat. Or I can do spring and cat. Over here, Mr. Cat Bowser. Doug Bowser. Muriel Bowser. going again? I forget. Is it here? I think it's here. Oh, him having wings adds, uh, adds extra moves to his repertoire. I almost was, I almost went right under that because I wasn't looking at chat. I was looking at chat.
Where are you gonna go, Mr. Snake Block? Are you gonna crush me at the top of the level? I hope not. I, I need you, Mr. Snake Block. Boy, I hope I don't lose this or I'm fucked! I, I lost it. Oh, I, I was still a cat. Not anymore. Now I'm just me. And I can't see. I'm just big, big green Luigi. Meowser seems to have vacated the premises. Uh-oh! Never mind. He's still here. And I'm small now. Go away, Bowser. I'm dead. Gotta do that whole sequence again. Not crazy about auto scrollers. Can't see. Meowser, please. Leave me alone. I've done nothing to you. How much is Grandmare paying? I'll pay double, no triple. Nope. Want to keep my cat. Not making any easy jokes. They're low, low hanging jokes I could make about a cat. Another word for cat. I'm not going to do it. Don't squish me, please. Can't see! Meowser's here! Okay, I'm now a cat with a propeller. This is a good thing for me to be. I also don't have a lot of room to run for Meowser. I don't know how he can see to climb wearing this propeller hat, but he can do so. Okay, is, is this how I beat him? I can't seem to grab it. Come up here, Mr. Cat, Dragon, Turtle. Give me another! Give me another! I lost my propeller. Oh, it's only two hits. Them pals are strong. Get me out of here. Well, I have defeated Grand Mare's castle. The campaign is complete. Grand Pere has nowhere else to go from here. I still have no idea how to pronounce either of these words. Anything beyond here is just a victory lap, clearly. But I'm gonna save that victory lap for a future future stream. I've had enough. I've had enough of Grand Perry for today. Been going two and a half hours. I'll uh, I'll do another Mario Maker soon. 
I'll have, after next week, I'm totally free, so I'll be doing a lot more solo streams. And, uh, I'll come back to this, do the final two worlds, some other friends' levels, maybe Sandy's will have his world done by then. And, uh, whatever else, man, I'll do more Mario Maker with, uh, user levels in the near future, too. Merci beaucoup, and, uh, see you next time.